Today we're talking about self-confidence. You know, good old self-confidence. So confidence has a lot to do with your self-image. A lot of the time you have this skewed perception of yourself. You don't realize how awesome you are. And you also don't realize the amount of amazing things that are around you and the opportunities that are also right in front of you. So I want to start with a few things. First, I want you to always set realistic goals. If you're setting goals that are unrealistic, your confidence level is obviously going to go down because you're going to never meet your goals. Secondly, I want you to remember words of affirmation. So whether it's you telling yourself something or someone else telling you something, make sure it's something nice. Something that's gonna give you a boost of confidence. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. That goes right into loving yourself. You have to love yourself. Go to the gym. Buy that new shirt that you wanted to get. Get your nails done. Whatever it is, do something nice for yourself. Take care of yourself. That is all within building confidence. You look good, you feel good. It's a fact. I mean, for me anyways. When I look good, I feel good. When I look good, I'm like, I'm ready to go to my meetings. I may not even have meetings that day, but I'm ready to go. I want you to be the person that you want to be. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of your mind. What you can accomplish. What you've already accomplished. Even if it's nothing, still be proud. Challenging yourself often. We're coming back to setting goals. Challenge yourself, set a goal, accomplish them. By setting that goal, you're challenging yourself. And by doing that, you're allowing yourself to build your confidence. Every single time you do that, your confidence level will raise a little higher. Now I say challenge yourself often, but I don't want you to challenge yourself every day. And I don't want you to unrealistically challenge yourself either. Like, I need abs by tomorrow. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna give you a quote. Marilyn Monroe once said, wanting to be someone else is a waste of the person that you are. Fact. Why would you want to be anybody else but yourself? The amount of things that we have at our fingertips now, the technology, with Sephora, there's so many things we can do. Utilize them. Now I'm not saying you have to be all made up to be confident. You don't. Confidence is within. It's not about what you see. It's not. Confidence is here. Here. But it doesn't have to look cute while you're being confident here. I want you to also remember personal boundaries. It's time to get rid of that pushover attitude. Learn to say no. No. Nah. Mm-mm. No. No. And when you take control over your life, you're able to do the things that you want to do. There's a book. There's a lot of books. But this book in particular is awesome. It's actually called The Book of Awesome. I love this book. Why I'm bringing this book up is because it's going to help you to see all the awesome things that are around you that you don't see on a regular basis. You literally forget about them. You actually take them for granted. When you're happy, you're confident. So, set realistic goals, words of affirmation, love yourself, challenge yourself, set your personal boundaries, don't forget the awesome things, bring in the happy, let go of the negativity, build that confidence to boost your business, your brand, yourself, get on the higher level. Okay, do that with me, close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. Do you feel more confident? I feel like you're supposed to. <laughs> Get up, build some confidence. Go, do something. Also subscribe. Subscribe, I have to remember to subscribe Later haters.